What's going on guys, it's your boy Gaming here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be talking about episode 67 of Dragon Ball Super, uh, of Dragon Ball Super, and today we're going to talk about the beginning of the episode, basically what, how the episode starts off for episode 77 is we get a new intro for Dragon Ball Super. Um, if you guys want to see a breakdown uh, video on that, I'll leave a link in the description to Geek the 101's uh, the video about it because uh, I actually haven't seen it yet. But now that I've actually seen it, and I want to apologize real quick for a late upload for this review. But um, if you guys want to see a breakdown video of the new intro, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in, uh, in the description to Geek the video about that, as well as just a it's just a, cha a channel link uh, like all around. But you guys can go check out the check out his channel when I leave the link in the description. If I remember to do that, uh, if I don't remember, just uh, type it in the comments to remind me of that. But we start off at the beginning of the episode with a new intro. Uh, I kind of liked it, and like I said, if you guys want to see a break that a uh, breakdown of that uh, new intro, uh, link in the description. There should be a link in the description. I hope. Um, but yeah, uh, the episode starts, and then we see Goku. And he's kind of at like this this marketplace. In this marketplace, um, he just he's just there to sell to sell off crops uh, that he's made off of, of obviously uh, of his crops of his field. He has a whole bunch of like of like vegetables and shit, right? He's just selling shit. And then uh, a couple guys tried to fucking rob the motherfucker, and he's just like, uh, nah, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna allow that. And he beats the shit out of them, obviously. And so he goes back, he, uh, he goes back to his home, he changes into his gi, and then, uh, he goes and asks Whis, asks Whis to train him. And so on his way, uh, over to Capsule Corp so he can go grab Vegeta, obviously because it's Whis and Beerus, uh, they want food. So before that, he, uh, him and Goten actually go and grab food and then they over, head over to Capsule Corp. And as uh, Goku's trying to get, get his hands on to Vegeta so they can leave uh, with Whis, uh, we find out that Bulma is indeed pregnant. She is pregnant with another another child. And I saw this um, on YouTube the other day. Uh, I forget where, but we ba we basically see that Bulma is indeed pregnant. She's going to have a second child, and I believe the second child is basically just going to be Bra from GT. So, and if you don't know Bra, Bra is from GT, and she's the daughter of of uh, uh, Bulma and Vegeta, and the sister to Trunks, obviously. But uh, yeah, basically Bulma's pregnant, and they're just kind of there. They're kind of waiting. Uh, uh, Goku's kind of just waiting for uh, Whis to show up. And then uh, him and Vegeta actually have a little uh, talk, and then Vegeta says that he's actually not gonna go and train with Whis because he's gonna actually be there for Bulma when his child is is born, which is different for Vegeta. You know, you you would think that he would just go and leave uh, uh, with for Go uh, not for Goku, but with Goku and Whis. And then just go train, you know. That, you would think that's what he would just go do instead of just stay, staying there for Palma. But that just shows how much Vegeta has just changed over the years and how how much he's bonded with his family. And it really shows that he re he really does care. And if the, the future Trunks arc didn't prove it uh, prove enough for you, uh, th this uh, next this episode that we're just discussing on or I'm reviewing on. Uh, kind of just basically shows that he does care and Vegeta has just changed and that's that's awesome, you know But yeah, uh, we shows up he picks up Goku and then we and Goku start to train and then uh, And then the the, uh, the the three of Beerus, Whis, and Goku they start talking about whatever right and then Goku asks uh, What about that thing and the thing that he's referring to is uh, the, the all universe world tournament, which basically is just going to consist of all the universes and a martial arts tournament. And so he starts talking about it, 
and beers and weeds are like, no, that's not a good idea because uh, it's not because of the fighters of the different universes because they're bad. It's because of uh, Zen Zenchan or Zeno uh, or Zeno or the King of All, however you want to uh, however you want to call him. Uh, this uh, it's bad because of uh, Zeno, and the reason why it's bad for Zeno is because he's the king of all. He can literally wipe out an entire universe in just a flick of, and and with just a flick of the wrist. Like it's that simple for him. If he was able to annihilate um, uh, someone who was immortal, uh, being Zamas Zamasu, you know, he can he can wipe out an entire universe. If he was able to do that. Then he can then he can t take out an entire universe, and then Goku was like, uh, but he seems he seems fine. It doesn't seem like anything will happen. And if you remember uh, the button uh, that Zeno had gave to Goku, he's basically threaten threatening kind of in a way uh, to to Beerus that he will go and he will ask and he will ask uh, he will ask Zeno to hold the tournament. And then Beerus kind of threatens Goku that he'll basically obliterate him if he decides to go. And the thing that made me laugh the most, and I'm kind of laughing right now, uh, is that he holds up the button, uh, he fakes it as if he's throwing it in the air, and then he laughs and he's like, ha, fooled you, and then he just leaves. I thought that was so funny. I thought that was so funny. I, I literally screamed. Uh, in my room, and I, I think someone might have heard me in my house, but, you know, it's whatever. So, he shows up to where Zeno is at, his little fucking palace, and then basically he just asks them, uh, I say, I say asks them because there's a present day one, and there's a, a just future Zeno, as you may know if you watch the Trunks arc. But, yeah, he, he, he basically asks Zeno, the present day Zeno, if he forgot, and he should hold... Uh, the All Universe Martial Arts Tournament, and so basically that's the beginning of uh, of the of this next arc, the Universal Survival Tournament or the All Universe Martial Arts Tournament, however you want to call it. This is basically the beginning of the arc. Ba uh, so now this next episode, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the next episode. Please, if you want to go ahead and click off now. Uh, feel free if you do, but before you leave, be sure to leave a like on the video. It's subscribe for future content like this, and I'll see you later. But anyways, I'm gonna get into the next episode previews, and basically what happens is is that uh, it just basically shows all of uh, it basically shows uh, Supreme Kai. Oh yeah, the end of the, the actually uh, the actual end of the episode shows uh, Beerus, Whis, and Goku at. Uh, the Supreme Kai, uh, the planet of the Supreme Kai, the world of Supreme Kai, or whatever. And basically, what Zeno said was that we're gonna go ahead and release information to all the Supreme Kais of different universes to let you know when the next tournament starts. But I digress. The next episode preview begins with uh, the Grand Priest, which is the father of uh, Whis. Uh, I'm pretty sure we found out in uh, one of the last few episodes from before, I forget which one, but we, we do figure that out, and uh, I'm running out of breath, I apologize, but uh, what we do see is, it's the, it's the priest, he says uh, this, the, the current, uh, he, uh, he addresses the date and the time of when it's going to start, and uh, Zeno, he kind of just comes out of nowhere and surprises them, but it then skips over ahead to... Uh, all the fighters who might be uh, participants of uh, the universe, or not the universe, uh, the Universal um, Martial Arts Tournament. And that's actually the end. Of, that's actually the end of the episode. But this is actually now we're getting into the next episode previews. I apologize for that. So the next episode previews, uh, it's showing off Zeno. He's just like whatever. He's like yeah, this is when it starts and bullshit, right? And then. The yeah, Goku at the, at the in previews is basically explaining that uh, before they start, we need to see them fight, and so we're basically going to we're going to get a chance to see uh, fighters of uh, all the universes uh, fight. Not seriously, but just just to test your strength, I guess, and that's what we're going to see for the next episode. 
Uh, I explained it very poorly and I apologize for that, but if you guys want to see a better video on uh, this episode with you, uh, I, re I recommend channels like uh, Mike from Rock and Stock Media, Geek the 101, and even Ryan Style, of course. But uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video now. If you guys enjoyed this video for what it was, uh, I haven't commentated in a little while, so I apologize for my very poor commentating skills. Uh, it has been it has been like almost a week, and I really do apologize for that. Uh, I just been into a little bit of drama recently with uh, with this same old motherfucker who uh, who's been harassing me and my friends, and uh, I threatened to uh, call the cops on him. And I think eventually, sooner or later, in the next couple of days, I will call the cops on him. Because he has seriously been harassing me and my friends. I'm just getting tired of it. He's, he's bothering the shit out of my friends. And it's just, it's this whole other thing that I don't want to get into in this video. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end up the video now. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I'll, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, wonderful day. And I'll see you later. Peace out.